Hello and a very good evening to all of you. My name is Asmita. Some of you know me, some of you don't. So hello to everyone that I'm meeting for the first time today. And today we are going to have a very interesting, not so academic, but otherwise a fun and useful session. So hi Prabhat, Prasansha, Sompali, Srishti. How are you all doing? So a lot of you had exams recently. I hope they all went well. Hi Sajan, Archita, Sneha, Moksha, Khyati. Hello, so I am doing really, really well. Thank you for asking. And I know you're all doing really well as well. So let's get started with today's session. So today we are going to look at top 10 most commonly mispronounced words. Now, before we go into the list of all the mispronounced words, I want to ask you, why do you think it's important to pronounce words correctly? What is the point of correct pronunciation? Do you have any answers for this question? Hi Anushka. Sangram, Smruti Rekha. Divyamshi. So quickly, okay, Parth is already telling me the mistake he makes. So if you know you make this mistake, why are you making the mistake? So yes, avians, for better understanding and communication, right? So that people understand whatever we are saying because of its meaning, better presentation, for proper conversation. Amazing answer. So you all know why. So a lot of you in the past have asked me, how do I improve my English? How do I improve my English? So a huge part of English is speaking. So it's not just reading and writing. It's also being able to speak English and in a way that makes other people happy. So you're not uh, making too many grammatical errors. You're not saying incorrect things. You're not confusing the person that you're talking to. And a huge part of that is pronunciation. So if we have a specific word for a specific object, but then I call it something else and another person is calling it something else. There's just always going to be confusion. So when we have standard pronunciation for things, just like we have standard names for things, if we have standard pronunciation for things, it just makes everything a lot easier. And it also shows our personality. That's true. So a lot of you want to work on some personality development and being able to speak clearly, articulating properly, enunciating words correctly. All of these things helps improve our personality. Yes, great. Amazing. So now that we know why pronunciation is important, let's get right into it. But before we do that, let me tell you, I feel like traveling so I have planned a trip to Jaipur with my friend okay and so we are going to go sometime next week and I am very excited for the trip but I haven't made any effort to plan everything that we are going to do all of that she is doing so I've left it to her and now looks like I have received a message from her and I have a feeling it's about the trip. So why don't we listen to the message and see what she has to say. All right, let's go. Hey, Asmita, how are you? I finished planning the, uh, our itinerary for our Jaipur trip. I can't wait for it to start. Okay. Did you all hear the message? Were you all able to hear the message? So there was a little bit of struggle there, right? Did you hear the struggle? I heard a little bit of struggle. My friend got stuck somewhere in the middle. 
uh, while saying uh, uh, I didn't it, I didn't it, I didn't it. Do can any of you guess what word she was trying to say? Anybody? No guesses. Oh, Om thought she was saying artillery. Oh, Deepu got it, but Deepu misspelled the Prabhat. Fantastic shout out to Prabhat. So when we plan a trip and then we plan out everything that we are going to do on that trip, there's a word for it. And that word is really hard to say. A lot of people struggle pronouncing that word. And Prabhat guessed it correctly. Itinerary. Yes, Yuvraj. QED. Great job. So, when we plan a trip and we plan out everything, all the activities that we are going to do there, we call it our itinerary. And it's a very difficult word to say. We get stuck with the R's and we're like itinerary. Right? Okay, so this is a very commonly mispronounced word. So, no issues. It's okay if you're mispronouncing words. Life and learning a language, everything is a process where we learn from our mistakes. So if you are making mistakes, we can always learn from them and make our pronunciation better. So nothing to be embarrassed about. So my friend also doesn't have to be embarrassed, right? Okay, so let's look at some other commonly mispronounced words. But I am not going to tell you what the cor correct pronunciation is. Okay, that's not that much fun. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the word on screen. You can take a look at it. You can see the spelling. And then you will see two versions of how it is said. So you know, every time we have a word written, that's not exactly how we say it. Because in English, letters come together and their sound changes. Okay, so you're going to see two versions of the word with their with the way they are said, spelt out. And you have to tell me which is the correct. Yes, Prabhat says phonetic. So they're going to be phonetically spelt out and you have to tell me which is the correct version. Okay? Alright. So let's take a look at the first one. I already gave away the answer to the first one. So you already know the answer to this. So tell me this word that you see on your screen right there. What is the correct pronunciation? Oh, sorry. What is the correct way to say it? My bad. Okay. The Vyamshi itinerary is the list of activities that we plan out to do in a trip. So if you're going, uh, let's say, to Switzerland and then you decide which places you're going to visit and what you're going to do there for how many days, that is your itinerary. Okay. So even though I gave away the answer, some of you are saying A, some of you are saying B. Alright, looks like we have the majority saying B. Some of you are still saying A. Okay. <laughs> Alright, B is the correct answer. Great job. First one is pronunciation. Okay, and that is incorrect. But why does this confusion arise? Because the word pronounce is said as pronounce. But the word pronunciation, that's right, it's B. It's said as pronunciation. Okay, so say it with me. I can't hear you, but you can say it with me. Pronunciation. Amazing! Great start! Moving on to the next word. It's right there on your screen. I will tell you the meaning of the word. So the meaning of this word is a style or category of something like music, art, books, movies. Okay? A, 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 A. Lot of you saying A, lot of you saying B. Mixed response looks like a 50-50 situation. Okay, so the A, A is genre, genre. And B is genre, genre, genre. 
B B B A A B B B B B. Let's see. The correct answer is B. Genre. Genre is the correct pronunciation. All right. So this word, which means the style or category of something. So if you like horror movies, horror is the genre that you like. Okay. Or if you like slow music, peaceful music, then that is the genre of music that you like. Okay. So this word is pronounced in such a way because it's borrowed from French. So this is actually originally a French word. and english has borrowed this which is why it's pronounced genre so say it with me genre and yes you're right parth english is unpredictable and that is what makes it more beautiful very well said all right time for the next one okay here we go this is the word a is buffet or buffet and b is buffet or buffet a a a a all of you saying a all right so i think we have majority saying a Let's look at the answer and the answer is A. So it can be pronounced as buffet or buffet but it's never buffet or buffet. That is wrong. All right, so the correct pronunciation is buffet or buffet. And what does it mean? It's a meal consisting of many items that you can choose from. and generally if we ever get invited to a dinner where there is a buffet we tend to eat a lot we fill up our plates with so much food right at least i do that i don't know about you all ah yes in weddings great all right great job time for the next question here is the word a or b and you know the meaning of this word if you buy something and you pay money the salesman gives you a receipt or receipt a b a b a b a b a b a b, a, b. okay b a a a hmm 50 50 here as well okay so there seems to be some confusion here let me clear it out so everyone who said a got it wrong it's b so the correct pronunciation is receipt it's not receipt it's not receipt it's receipt All right, great job. Moving on to the next one. We all know what this means. Everybody knows what this means. But is it government or government? Government, government. or government hmm okay 100% b on this one very easy you all got it it's b great job government all right okay time for the next one so also should be fairly easy for you I was almost about to say it but I didn't say it is it a or b
clothes, clothes, or clothes. Hmm. Here some of you are confused saying A. Try to say what's written. Over here in option A, try to say what's written. Option B, try to say what's written. Exactly like that. Clothes. Clothes. Okay, the correct answer is B. It's clothes. What do we wear? We wear clothes. And the singular is cloth. So a piece of cloth is cloth. But the plural is not cloths or clothes. It's clothes. Alright? Okay, time for the next one. So this is where we put all our clothes. And other things as well. What is it? Is it a cupboard or is it a cupboard? Cupboard or cupboard. Oh wow. Big A's are coming in the comments. All right. Yes, you got it. It's cupboard. Cupboard, not cupboard, it's cupboard. All right, time for the next word. So now the meaning of this word is just a collection of, you know, historical documents or any other records which provide information about something, okay? Is it archive or is it archive? Archive, archive. Okay, big answers coming in. Big, big B's in the comment section. Some A's also I see. All right, so this is a mixed. Some of you think it's A, most of you think it's B. And the correct answer is B. It's archive, not archive, archive. All right, great job. You know, this is a very common one. I've heard lots of people mispronounce this word. We all know what it means. Is it environment or environment? Okay. Some saying A, most saying B. B, 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 A. And the answer is A. No, it's B. Yes, there we go. Some people are being smart. They're writing A, B as the answer. No, but this word is pronounced as environment. Not environment. It's environment. Okay, this word. What does this word mean? It's a state of owing money to someone. When you owe money to someone, when you have to give somebody's money back and you still haven't, you are in a state of debt or debt. What is the correct pronunciation? Debt, debt. Okay, A, B, B. I see a lot, 
I see lots of B's for this one. Some A's. Should I reveal the answer? It's A. Debt. We don't pronounce the B here. It's debt and not debt or debit. Debit is a different word. D-E-B-I-T. All right. So we are done with our 10 words. Great job, everyone. And it's okay to get it wrong. We all mispronounce words. Nobody is perfect. And a lot of times we might pronounce things differently depending upon our accent. That is also okay. But generally mistakes like this, which is pronouncing the B in debt or saying environment, that is incorrect and now we know. So even if you were saying it incorrectly in the past, no problem. Now you can fix it. But this is not the end of the session. Not only do I have some bonus words for you, but we also have a menti quiz coming up with four more words that you have to tell me the correct pronunciation for, okay? I saw some fancy words in the comment. So, Pratibha, debt is when you owe money to someone. Okay, so if you have borrowed money from someone and you haven't returned it, then you are in debt. Okay? Ha, intrigued. So, when you're interested in something, when something, you know, is very interesting for you, exciting for you, you want to know more about it, that means you are intrigued, not intrigued or anything, intrigued. All right, okay, so here are our bonus words. Let's start with the first one. It's a form of dance, right? So, do you want to try out phonetically spelling it out for me in the comments, how it's pronounced? Mischievous. Ah, Amit. Tanishka. First, I thought all of you are typing balle. I was wondering why you are typing balle balle. But you are giving me the correct pronunciation. Great. It's ballet. Good job. So, we don't say ballet. We say ballet. Great. Then, second word. This one. This is where we go out to eat with our family and friends. How do we say this word? So I saw a lot of you typing the mispronunciation, the way it's not supposed to be pronounced. So we don't say restaurant, restaurant. No, that is the incorrect pronunciation. The correct pronunciation is restaurant. Restaurant. So, not restaurant or restaurant. It's restaurant. Okay, so next time you're going to tell your parents, let's go to a restaurant. Okay, great. Last one. Right here. Ah, QED, just mathematics. I don't know your name, but great job. Great job.
So the correct pronunciation is jewelry. Yes, so I saw a lot of you type it. It's not jewelry, it's jewelry. Jewelry. All right. Fantastic. Oh, so Pyar is asking me, can you tell me the pronunciation of this word? The word that he's typed also comes from French and it's pronounced rendezvous. Rendezvous. Loftily. Great. So Mercy says, Ma'am, I am learning French. And in French, when you say thank you, you say merci. I'm not pronouncing it as well as a French speaker will, but merci. So nice coincidence there. All right. And now this is some fun homework for you all. You can post the answers to this. You just have to pick the correct pronunciation for these words. Fairly easy. In one, somebody in the beginning of the session said that they have problem with this word right here, number three. So now you can tell me what the correct pronunciation is. In your homework. Great. Alright. So yeah, different languages have different kinds of words and all those words are pronounced differently. Right? In our mother tongues also, we say a lot of things differently. And that is why when we learn a different language, our mother tongue influences how we speak that language. Which is why if we practice the pronunciation in that particular language, we should make sure we don't have a lot of mother tongue influence in our pronunciation. That is why we practice. So if an English speaker is learning French, they wouldn't know how to pronounce the R's because in French the R's are pronounced as her. So we have to learn all of that. And that is what we're doing today with English. We're trying to learn how to pronounce the letters and the words and how they come together in English. So Tanisha, daunting is daunting. All right, I feel like it's time for Menti now because some of you are giving me homework answers already. Srishti Entrepreneur. Okay, let's go. So of course we've got you covered. You know that. So stay, stay tuned in the channel and you will get all the notifications for what you, what's coming up for you. So many words you guys have. Wow, okay. <laughs> and there's a link in the description box for free trial classes. Do make use of them. Check them out. Yes, there is Menti. Menti is coming up. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and tell all your friends about this channel. And now, quick, hurry up. Go to www.menti.com and use this code. See you there.
Okay, so all of you join quickly. Okay, the code. Oh no, I've moved on to the next slide. Someone share the code in the comments so that the others who have missed it can see. All right, so quickly, if we can get the code in the comments. And then we can get started quickly. A lot of you are, yeah, there we go. So the code is 4008-5384. Okay, I'll give you... Little more time. So join everyone who hasn't yet. Four zero zero eight five three eight four. Great. So, 10 more seconds and then I'll get started. You can keep joining. This will go by quickly. There are only four questions. And... All right, let's begin. Choose the correct pronunciation of this word. I'm not going to say it. If I say it, it will give it away and I don't want to help you with the answers right now. Quickly, quickly. Five seconds. Time's up. Let's see. Okay, equal, equal. The correct pronunciation is tomb. It's not tomb. Or it's not Tom, it's Tomb. Okay? Alright. Great. 50-50 over here. Let's go to the next one. Seems to be an issue with this link. One second. Okay, let's see if it works now. Okay, Malvika Diel was the fastest this time. Here's the next question. Let's see who's the fastest in question number two. This word right here. Can't say it. And time's up. Okay, so most of you got it right this time. It's not probably, it's not probably, it's probably. Probably. Okay, a lot of people say probably as well. That's incorrect. It's probably. And who's topping this time? Did anyone beat Malvika? Oh, Madhuman. All right. Great. Okay. Ready for the next question? Here we go. 
you all know you have to answer fast to get more points and this is not the day today but how do we say it Five seconds left. Great job. Most of you got the right answer. It's not Wednesday. It's Wednesday. There we go. Great job. Okay. Last question. Are we ready? But before that, we'll see what the leaderboard looks like. Wow, Titli, whose emoji is a cat. So, butterfly cat is the fastest. Okay, ready? Last question. Mohip, this is the last question. We use this to make our clothes look better. What do we call it? Great! It's iron and not iron. Iron. Iron, not iron. Okay, so we don't pronounce the R here. Great! So let's see what the leaderboard looks like now. Oh, wow, Janani tops the pronunciation menti quiz. Great job, Janani. And fantastic job, everyone else. And always remember, nothing to be embarrassed about. If you pronounce something incorrectly, you can always learn the better and the correct way to pronounce it. Alright, so this was just a fun session. I hope all of you got to learn something from it. And I had a great time with you as always. See you next time. And have a great evening ahead.